Hello, my name is Giancarlo Bellino, and this is Ostium. Ostium is a platformer 3D jumper game developed in Unity. Um, it was developed as my senior project alongside another classmate named Katharina Buhuovic. The music was uh, developed by a student in Denmark who we got in contact with through our school and um, the coding and art design was done by me and my classmate. This here is the instructions page which just gives the player some basic information on how to play the game and what each object is. So I'm going to just start a new game here and uh, show you guys some of the gameplay. This is our opening cutscene that we have. You can press spacebar to skip it, but it does a good job of just showcasing the level. You can also rotate the camera while it's moving. It's just so that you know you can view the map before you start the game. The player's health can be seen in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, along with a timer and uh, your coin tracker. Based on how fast you complete the game and how many coins you have determines your score. If you fall off the map, you lose 5 health, and when your health drops to 0, of course it's game over. The clothing of the character was designed based off of uh, old Turkish garments that we viewed uh, in the museum. Uh, we wanted to go for like a Star Wars-esque kind of feel and make him feel like a humanoid alien. Um, we originally wanted to make him kind of like a demon, but we decided that more humanistic features were better. So we just uh, gave him some horns just to go back to that whole demon feel. And uh, yeah, we really liked the design. All of the objects in the game were modeled in Maya, UV mapped in soft damage, and then textured in ZBrush. We created our rigging system in Maya, which we then used to deform the model. We created some of our own animations and used some stock animations for our character. We dabbled in some motion capture but found that our animations that we had keyframed blended more fluidly. Most of the coding was done in JavaScript, although some of it was done in C Sharp. We had originally been programming in C Sharp, but decided to switch to JavaScript later on. Um, and we didn't want to have to just throw out all our old code. So we ended up using both codes, um, C Sharp and JavaScript. And yeah. Well, that pretty much concludes all I wanted to say about my game. Um, if you liked the video, you know, please like, subscribe and enjoy the rest of the gameplay.